Saudi Krab. It's Tuesday, December 4th. I'm JP Mestanza, and this is Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now, here's the news you need to know. An estimated 4,000 fish, all of the mackerel, had been on the sands of Nyharn Beach on Sunday night after local fishermen took advantage of a monster sized school of the fish that was spotted just offshore. Large nets were brought into the water by several fishermen after they saw the massive school of mackerel swimming in the Andaman Sea and after the haul, they began selling the mackerel right on the sand at bargain basement prices with locals fetching fresh fish for as little as 100 baht for three. The chief of Puka Fisheries explained that the huge school of fish was a quote freak event, although completely natural, denying a social media rumor that the incident was a sign of some impending natural disaster since the mackerel are found around the shorelines annually around this time of year. A new rule is requiring all senior officials who hold high level positions in the government, public health sector to declare all of their assets and debts by late January. And instead of coming forward with all the information about potential conflicts of interest and whatnot, several members have decided to resign instead. Three members of the Healthcare Accreditation Institute and four members of the National Health Security Board have all resigned, including the current Bangkok governor, who is a member of the NHSB. And it's all because of the new rule made by the National Anti-Corruption Commission. The new rules were originally set to come into force last Sunday, December 2nd, but the NACC deferred it to January 31st after fierce criticism. Thailand will finally begin rolling out the new and quite frankly very late e-visa service and they're going to start by first having it become available to the country whose tourism business the kingdom really wants and needs right now, China. Starting February 15th, potential tourists from China and the capital of Beijing will be able to fill out an online form on the thaievisa.go.th website to get their visas to the Kingdom of Thailand. And officials say that the e-visa plan will no longer require visa stamps in travelers' passports. After China, the e-visa service will be expanded to the UK in March and France in April with an eye to offer it to all countries within three years. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Did you know Thailand does not recognize refugees? That's one of the reasons why the kingdom has a bad reputation for sending refugees back to their countries facing persecution. And that's the case here with former Bahraini national team footballer Karim al Raibi, who was stopped on an Interpol red notice after arriving in Thailand from Australia last month. Let's start at the beginning, as al Arabi was first arrested and allegedly beaten during the Arab Spring protests back in 2012 in his native Bahrain, on charges that he vandalized a police station, but he says he was actually playing in a match outside of Bahrain during that time. Then in 2017, the 25-year-old was granted refugee status in Australia and currently plays for a Melbourne-based semi-professional club. But after interviews that he gave back in 2016, detailing his treatment at the hands of Bahraini authorities, an Interpol notice was posted by Bahrain authorities. And last month, while on holiday in Thailand with his wife, he was detained at the Bangkok border because of that warrant. Thailand Immigration Chief Surachat Hakpan is saying that al Raibi will be remanded for 12 days starting yesterday, December 3rd, all for Thai authorities to examine documents submitted by Bahrain. And if it turns out that the arrest warrant is invalid, he'll be sent back to Australia, where officials are actively working to get him back. If you're currently in Thailand and have gone to any one of the popular shops today, you may have noticed that they're not handing out plastic bags. That's because today is Thai Environment Day and it's all meant to help clean up Mother Earth. Major retailers nationwide, including Tesco, 7-Eleven, Central, Big C, Robinson, and Power Buy, they all took part in the Thai Environment Day, instead urging people to not only bring their own cloth bags, but have also given options for paper bags. The main purpose, officials say, is to reduce the amount of plastic bags used in the kingdom, as plastic grocery bags take about 
10 to 50 years to decompose. And the nation is the world's sixth biggest contributor to ocean waste, with the kingdom generating just over 1 million tons of plastic waste per year. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'll be off tomorrow, as it's December 5th, Father's Day here in Thailand, but we'll be back on Thursday with all the news you missed. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Patong's favorite steakhouse for the past 20 years. For more, find Sam's Steaks and Grill on Facebook. When you think of steaks, think Sam's.